So today, I recreated Insane Craft and made it playable by you guys. If you guys want to download this for yourselves, stick around. And I'll show you guys how to get it for yourselves. This took a lot of time, so please make sure to heal my suffering by subscribing and turning that like button blue. Okay, so before I show you guys how to download this mod pack, let's get in a game and see how it looks. Okay, now here we are. So the first thing you're going to notice is... There's a lot of things missing from the Just Enough Items page. On the original mod pack, there's 217 pages, whereas here there is 98 pages. And that is because this is a video recreation mod pack. Meaning I've watched all of their videos and I tried to find the mods through their gameplay. So there will be a lot of mods missing from this mod pack, but when I get any new information about any new mods, I will be adding them immediately to the pack. Okay, so we do have the most important features that they do showcase in their videos. For instance, the Infinity Gauntlet and all of its stones. The Tinker's Construct Machinery with the extra Uru stuff. So for instance, we get all of these Uru things up here. The Aether Dimension and tons of other dimensions. There are a lot of dimensions. I just put two portals here because some of them I don't actually know how to get to. The Wizardry, so everything to do with wizardry, which was a big part of almost everyone's episodes and series. And of course, Draconic Evolution, which is a huge part of Sunday's videos, uh, and starting to be a part of Henry's, Jerome's, and Biffle's videos. We also have some really nice terrain generation with tons of different biomes and Thorncraft stuff. And we also have some new dungeons with different types of NPCs. For instance, I don't know what this guy is down here. What the heck are you? You look ugly. You look... Eh, uh, you look disgusting. Bye-bye. But we also have, like, meteorites and superhero mods. So there's a lot of things included into this. Now I do still have to agree to the law on publication of this mod pack. So this mod might not yet be released by the time you watch this video. This is why I've created a website where you can monitor the validation of this mod pack. It might take a bit of time, so I've made sure to include something in the emails I've sent to the mod creators. If the mod creators do not reply to my email, I'll abide by the CCBY rules and publish this mod pack with with their mods as long as I credit them because some of the mods in this mod pack are not being updated anymore and the owner probably doesn't even visit the site so within a week of this video being published there will be a download link to the mod pack either on curseforge or my website bearing in mind that the name of the mod pack might be different because I might not have the permission from Spark Squared. If they actually disagree to me making this mod pack, I will have to name it differently. Hopefully you all understand I still have to abide by the law uh, when publishing this mod. Now, when the mod get, does get released, here is how you'll be able to download it and play on it for yourself. To get the mod and play it in single player, it's very easy. All you have to do is go to the website link in the description down below and click on the Insane Craft version 2 status page. It'll either bring you to a website page of my own or it'll bring you to CurseForge. Either way you just download it from both of those sites and put it in your mods folder or CurseForge launcher. There will be some videos in the description down below if you don't know how to mod Minecraft, it's very simple. Those videos will be linked down in the description from a third party YouTuber. Now it is recommended to allocate at least 12 gigabytes of memory because as you see on screen now it took 10 gigs to load up all of the mods uh, on the loading screen. So it's very hungry on the loading screen. Now in multiplayer you can do the same thing as before, down, go to the download links in the description down below on my website and you'll find the server files again on my website or CurseForge and depending on what providers you're with you will either have to put it on an FTP client or something else like a folder depending on where you're hosting your server. Now if you guys want to see me play this as a series, let me know in the comments down below and I'll heart as many comments as I possibly can. I will be publishing a lot more videos like this so feel free to um, subscribe and stick around. And I might just recreate even more of Sunday's mods with Spark Square permission. Other than that, I hope you've all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you.